cheese, that is comfort food. Everybody knows a loaf of cheese is good. And I say loaf because you go to Costco, Walmart, Macro is a loaf. Put it in my basket. Boom, now I need to find a Tupperware big enough to store the bastard. You put that cheddar cheese in the fridge, pull it out to put on a cracker. You got that one corner piece like. <laughs> That's how you learn, you have to grate the cheese. You take Kevin, he vies home to the kitchen and say, you grab the whole 10 kilo cheese, right? Pull out a four-sided grater, start grating the thing like this. You got the one size, you got normal grated side, so you'll just have nice grated slices of cheese, right? You'll turn it another side, you've got three plates. What the hell must I do with three plates? All right, mate, just keep pushing the cheese down. I'll start cutting a slice for you. And then as soon as you're about to finish cutting the first slice of cheese, the second blade's gonna come in and also start cutting. Yeah, the neighbor's just like, I'm right next door, I'll start cutting the cheese for you. Don't worry about the first slice, I'll start cutting the second slice. Meanwhile, the third blade hasn't even gone past the second blade, which hasn't gone past the first blade in slice. Like, How you doing, girl? You wanna cut the cheese out today? I'm gonna cut that cheese cutter, girl. Mm, ha, yeah, you. Push that cheese down, girl. Push that cheese all the way down. You get all that cheese slices. You put out that cheese grater, and you get to tessellate the cheese all over the sandwich. Ha, yeah, you. Turn the grater around one more time. You've got that miniature shit. That's for Pecorino Romano. One more time. Then I've got bullet holes. What must I do with that? Huh? I'll take the cheese and just bang it. You want some bullet holes of cheese and mama on toast? Shut up.